Hi, this is Amar from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video, I am going to be showing you how you can successfully purchase and install an SSL certificate from your GoDaddy hosting plan. So let's get started. As you can see, we are on our GoDaddy homepage here and if you scroll down, you'll see that the SSL security, the cheapest certificate from GoDaddy, costs about 64 US dollars a year, which is quite expensive. Also, I do need to mention the fact that if uh, you've purchased a uh, dedicated WordPress hosting plan, um, you'll not be able to manually install a certificate because you'll not have access to your cPanel. So let's get started. Uh, click on your profile here and click on visit your account. Okay, close these pop-ups, scroll down. Uh, click on manage your plan we have the starter Linux hosting with cPanel okay we are on a dashboard here and if you now click on cPanel admin click on that this will take you to your cPanel homepage the dashboard and you'll now need to scroll down and click on SSL and TLS which is right about here here we go under security now we'll need to generate a certificate sign in request or a CSR. Click on that. So basically what a CSR is, uh, it's uh, all your information that we're going to input down here stored in hashes or in a certain code that is communicated between servers and which is understood by them. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate a new key, type in your domain name here. your city your state and just fill in all these details here your email okay as you can see we have two dialog boxes passphrase and description left empty here now the passphrase I recommend that you leave that empty because you not want the hassle of remembering your password when you need to access your certificate sign-in request but I recommend that you leave that empty no problem and in description uh, if you want to describe anything to uh, we already have a domain name inputted here so we're going to leave the description empty too now we're going to click on generate okay our cert certificate has been generated make sure that you copy this from the very start to the very end you know including all the dashes click on copy and save it in a notepad file somewhere or just uh, uh, copy to clipboard now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the SSL trust dashboard sorry the SSL trust homepage and now we're going to buy a cheap certificate click on standard certificates scroll down uh, there are lots of various types of certificate you know, uh, with various companies, uh, various types we have with them. Uh, we can we're gonna go with the cheapest one for this video, and uh, one year, which costs about ten dollars, which is quite cheaper than sixty US dollars in a year. Okay, as you can see, this is ten point eight US dollars, which is quite cheaper than sixty four. I'm gonna click on checkout. Okay, and put in all your details here and pay via PayPal or card or your bank directly via net banking and click on complete order once you're done with that you will be redirected to your uh, dashboard here you will receive a confirmation email that your order is successful as you can see the sector got positive SSL we have purchased this for one year now what we can do is submit the SSL configuration click on submit certificate configuration Okay, scroll down and paste your CSR or your certificate sign request here as it was. We're going to click on verify CSR here. And if your details pop up just about right, you're good to go. So have a type, you know, with cPanel. Oops. And click on next step. So input in all your details here.
if you're the admin and you have a technical contact doing this for you be sure to include the technical person's name or your admin details if you're the technical person doing this but we're the same person so we're going to uh, use our admin details here and click on next step okay now comes the important part the validation method now you're going to need to prove to this certificate authority sectical that you own your domain name and you have complete access to it so there are a few methods of verification if you click on the email one there's uh there's lots of emails uh these are the five addresses recognized uh you can you're gonna need to create an email address with the same uh, uh username and you'll be sent an email with the confirmation code in that uh, if you open that link your uh, domain will be validated the next step is the http file so what this does that is you'll need to access your file manager via FTP and you'll need to navigate to this very URL under this folder under this folder too with a text file with this name and you're gonna have to create a text file in that and you're gonna copy and paste this contents in that. this is the next method of validation is the CNAME record uh, the easiest one which we're gonna do for in this video you just need to access your domain name provider or your GoDaddy DNS if your name servers are set to GoDaddy's so what we're gonna do now is go to DNS settings of GoDaddy uh, you'll be easily be able to navigate to that under domains and click on your domain name okay these are the default records listed here we're gonna add a record a CNAME record and the TTL we're going to set that to half hour copy the first box exactly as it is paste it here do the same for the next dialog box copy and paste it in the next box as it is sectio.com Yoast is also good to go now we're going to click on save come back here and you uh, click on this uh, button here to check your DNS record this will usually take uh, from a few minutes up to an hour to a few hours depending on your uh, hosting provider for this record to propagate through all DNS servers okay now what we're going to do is we're going to click on submit configuration okay our order our configuration was a success this is our order number we're going to scroll down to the validation manager click on that okay as you can see this was quick and our order was issued our certificate has been issued because uh, as you can see our CNAME record has propagated and our domain name is successfully validated we have now been issued a certificate and can move on to installing it. Uh, I do need to mention the fact that if your certificate has not been issued, it has uh, it is because your domain name has not been validated yet. You can wait a few more minutes, up to an hour or a few hours more, or you can move on to other methods of verification, such that such as the HTTP and the email method of verification so now we're going to move on to our dashboard at SSO Trust uh, click on our certificate and we're going to click on collect and download it okay now this is the first com we're going to copy this clipboard and head over to cPanel dashboard again scroll down go to SSO and TLS Go to CRTs or certificates, click on that, uh, scroll up, paste your certificate here, and our information pops up just about right. Scroll down, description, uh, this is for your reference, uh, so that you know what, uh, what domain name has the certificate been installed on. And we're going to create our save certificate. We're going to go back. I'm going to scroll down and go back again to ISSO Manager and now we're going to manage ISSO sites we're going to install it now you can select your domain name 
and you can click on autofill by domain okay as you can see the CRT the private key and the CA bundle are automatically filled if this does not fill automatically you can move on to manually uh, copy and pasting your private key from the uh, SSL panel go back get your private key and paste it here and for the CA bundle file uh, just go back to your certificate here and this you gotta paste the intermediate certificate which is also called the CA bundle copy and paste it from the very start to the very end here if it does not show automatically now we're going to click on install certificate and we're done let's open our okay as you can see our connection was not secure when I hit refresh one more time okay so as you can see our connection is now secure to our website and we are uh, we have a positive SSL secure logo so now what we're going to do is we're going to test our installation by going to a website called ssllabs.com test your server copy in your domain name paste it here click on submit okay as you can see we've got an A on our certificate and it looks like everything is good scroll down everything looks okay configuration is good TLS packages are good okay so pretty much if you get an A you're good to go your website is now 100% secure and you can carry on with your transactions or whatever you do with your site and your users will be protected so once you're done with that so if you have any questions please drop it down in the comments below or if you need any uh, support please contact our support team at SSL Trust thank you for watching this